Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Pop Reviews. We've got another exciting episode for you today. I've got a contributor of mass proportion. He's been with us from the start, and he's just been fantastic in his support. We got Nick Carter. He is the naturalist. Nick, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing fantastic. We've been having a lot of fun with this. And uh, I think you were the first contributor who was like, yes, please, I want to do this. This is awesome. And uh, thinking back, I, I think you were one of the first people that reached out to us when we first launched Poplar. And uh, that, that that always sort of uh, is a soft spot in 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 my, my feel-good memories of Poplar Magazine in our first year. So, uh, yeah, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that have been reading the magazine and checking in on everybody's columns and and, uh, and yourself included. So uh, who's Nick Carter and, and how do you well, fit the Poplar? That's a good question. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm a uh, sort of science and nature, natural history uh, educator, communicator, essentially. Um, so I've been involved in doing that kind of work for about a decade now. Um, my background was in uh, biology and uh so I'm into all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm a really avid bird watcher, um, spent a bit of time working in paleontology and um have uh sort of had a long association with the zoology wing at the royal alberta museum so oh. anything to do with kind of natural history in alberta i am uh sort of you know there and eager to uh, get involved and uh for the past couple of years i've been uh trying to break into uh the world of sort of writing and, and science journalism that kind of stuff so um you know that's that's why i'm here well, that's outstanding. So is that like a long-term goal for you to possibly put out your own work? Yeah. So I, I do have my own sort of um, brand, as I uh, sort of uh, call it. Um, my, I've got my own webpage, uh, naturenickphotography.com. Okay. So um, yeah, that's where I link to all of uh, the writing that I do. I've got uh, a few different uh writing gigs for a few different outlets and, and everything that I do for Poplar is on there, of course, and, and gets highlighted. Um, but as well as all the nature photography that I do as well, very much into that. And so I'm just kind of trying to um, slowly work on, you know, building myself up as a sort of, you know, uh, uh, I don't want to say authority because that sounds a bit uh, uh, right. Thick in the mud ish, but uh, you know, <laughs> Thick in the mud, I like that. And, uh, yeah, writer and you know, communicator, educator, that kind of thing. That's outstanding. So, you have a degree in biology? That's right. Wonderful. And you did that here in Alberta? Yeah. So, I went to U of A and uh, had a great time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right on. That's outstanding. I, uh, you know, that's one of the things I think that we've seen from your contribution is, uh, um, there's just been a real consistency and, and there, there is a theme to it. And I think that kind of, um, you know, I asked the big question who, and, and who is Nick and man, like what an answer. Uh, <laughs> and I managed to stay mostly quiet during it. So my interview skills are improving. I uh, <laughs> I've been consciously trying to improve on that. And, and, what an incredible answer. And the site is awesome. And you're on Insta as well. And we'll share those links here on the show uh, just to make sure people can, can access this because it, it, and we appreciate it so much. Like your support is, I mean, obviously I appreciate all the contributors, of course, I. Uh, but everybody's bringing their own sort of angle to how they're participating. And it's, you know, for, from, from my side as the, the guy publishing this thing, it's, it's man, does it ever just, it's what I wanted. I got what I asked for. I, I only want people who are genuinely interested in participating and they're wholeheartedly here. And, um, I, and that, that has really been the driver. And, and I, of all the projects we're working on at Lowing Media, I wanted Poplar Magazine to just be this kind of, kind of a Zen chill coffee shop kind of vibe, if you will. Yeah. And, yeah, and I think I, I think we've achieved it so far. And I and I, I think that's going to bring me to my next set. Uh, uh, you know, my next question is really going to expand on that. Like, why? Why? Why are you a part of Poplar magazine? Well, um, 
I first kind of took notice of Poplar. I think it was like just after the first uh, the first issue came out. Um, I was kind of a new aspiring writer and um, noticed you guys just on on Facebook. I think it was sure and, socials. Uh, I, yeah, 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 exactly. And um, I was kind of like, well, you know, this this looks really cool, and I like that it's. Um, it, it looked really like creative and independent didn't have this kind of like, um, you know, corporate kind of look to it. But it was, uh, it felt like kind of a, a cool laid back indie magazine or something, which uh, really clicked with me. I love that. And, and, and so then that, I guess that's my challenge because we are sort of in the midst of a lot of conversation with, with where, where the direction we're going to go and, and, um, whom is going to be target uh, audience for advertisers, sponsor level stuff, because eventually that is where we need to be. Right. And, and it's, I, I always felt it was my job to get this thing with a foundation and the four issues were, are just that. Right. And, mm -hmm. and now we're heading toward those, uh, those meetings and those um, that interest is coming. And, and I, I guess it's my responsibility to manage that a little. Um, I'm, I'm taking what you said as a, as a message. So I appreciate that a awesome. lot. That's great feedback because it, you're not the first to have say, said that. Somebody said to me recently, they said, uh, I might have shared this uh, in another interview, but they said, you know, Tim, you keep saying this is a grassroots effort, but this thing's underground. Yeah. We haven't had something like this uh, in Alberta in a long time. And uh, that that's part of the, the the future going forward, I want to expand that, and that's that brings me to another the uh, question is, is what I'm going to try and do actually with all the guests is try to keep it to the five W's a bit. But uh, uh, where where do you see uh, your column uh, uh, going? Like, where do you see it evolving to now that you've got them uh, this foundation with us? How do you see that changing? That's a, a good question. Um, and, and to be honest, I, I'm not sure I have a, a fully sort of uh, satisfying answer, but okay, that's um, honest. I, so I, organic. You know, I, I think back to like, I think I remember when when you and I first chatted, um, when I kind of reached out about uh, joining on, um, you know, we, we had kind of talked about you know, I was sort of uh, new to this and, you know, kind of wanting to start out from, you know, my my roots being, you know, nobody had ever heard of me either. And, uh, you know, you you guys had just started as well. So I was kind of like, you know, this could be sort of mutually beneficial. We'll kind of we'll kind of grow together and for sure, um, you know, see what the future looks like there. Um, when I sit down and write for Poplar, what I'm always kind of thinking of is, and, and this kind of jives with, I think, what a lot of the other writers are doing is um, like sharing knowledge and experience and, you know, sort of showing people, you know, here's some cool stuff in the province that you can do or see, whether it's, um, you know, fly fishing or hiking or mountaineering or gardening or bird watching, um, anything like that, you know? So, uh, I kind of see my role is how to become a naturalist at least, you know, that's awesome part of the world. And I think it's actually, there's so much more to talk about when you think about like, if you, you know, the, the topography of Alberta, I was just, I was just literally down in Lethbridge getting some content and, uh, we were at an event and, um, you know, it's, it just, just starts to change as you start to head down that way and it gets, yeah. you know, so rolly. And, and I think about North, I think North of you in up through peace country, how, uh, incredible it is. Um, and you, you think about the, the historical, the ancient history of, of the, of the province and, and how, you know, uh, you look at the, uh, the 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 stones that have been left behind in Okotoks, for example, and they're all over the province. Uh, things like this, I, I think, I, I'm not sure if that's in your wheelhouse, but uh, to me, that's always curious stuff. I'm always interested in in um, how did this all come to be before we started pouring concrete. You know what I mean? Well, funny you should say that. Uh, my 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 draft uh, for my next piece, which I will be getting to you any day now, is is kind of about 
prehistory in Alberta. Oh, cool. So uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and I, I swear to God, I didn't know that everybody like people are like, mm, okay, no, really, so you're, you're having a genuine, I haven't spoken to Nick in a while outside of email. Uh, that's actually awesome that we're kind of on a, on a wavelength. Um, and I, I think that kind of brings me to that, this sort of final, um, cause now I'm super curious about the column. Uh, and I think that's great that that just happened, but I'm curious then, what do you see overall, like in, in from your optics and sort of from your point of view, um, cause I've got my own vision for where Poplar's going to go and we are going to expand and things are there. There's going to be, uh, I, I want to diversify the subject matter. Right. Cause I keep talking about how this is, I'm trying to make this for Albertans. Well, we, there's ground to cover then. And, and I, I, I need to at least have intent to, to, to cover that ground. Right. And do my best. I'm, I'm one guy and, and I'm doing all right, but um, I, I certainly want that feedback. And, and as a contributor, you're, you're certainly valuable to me in, in, in that opinion. Uh, so ultimately where in your view does, uh, is popular magazine or, where would you like it to see or what do you see in where it's going? Um, I would say I, I might have a better answer for what I, I wouldn't want to see. And, and sort of top of that list is okay. using that sort of um, uh, creative kind of personal touch that, that it's had. Um, Cause you know, a lot of, you know the the things that you write in it and a lot of the other stuff that people write in it like it's often in like sort of a first person kind of thing there's sort of very okay. personal messages there and um you know i definitely wouldn't want to see that get lost i think that with the right kind of voice um if you you know uh, almost are kind of like personally addressing your readers that can really have a good uh, connection with people and you know, I and I, I imagine you know we're probably on on the same page here, and just not losing sight of you know where it came from, and like you know uh, connecting people both with each other from different sort of points of view and walks of life throughout the province, and also just like the landscape and the history of this place and and everything. So um, yeah, just kind of building off that, really. <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna take that right to heart, and. Um... And uh, thank you. Like maybe I needed to hear it said that way. And that's sort of what's kind of been bouncing around inside of me. Um, as I, as I look to move this forward um, and, and, and take it to a, the next level, um, you know, you kind of hit me in the, in the feels there in a way. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, you really made me just stop and think there and, and you actually just helped really simplify some things for me that we have been in uh conversation about recently. Um, uh, <laughs> man, you reminded me of something of my grandfather used to say to me, like if you're standing in the middle of a shit storm, he'd say straight out, he said, sometimes you just need to stand still, son, you'll get hit by less. Yeah, and, I like and I would sit and listen to that uh, old timer in the boat, and I'd be like, you know, and and I, and man, how many times in my life has that come to be true? And uh, and it is maybe right now, like maybe I've been overthinking this, and you just helped me to sort of bring that right back to where it belonged, and I really am thankful for that. Um, you know what, Nick, I, I I want you to know from from seriously from from my soul, like thank you so much for being a part of Poplar. I hope to you continue to want to participate. It is my goal to to turn this into something um, uh, even more special, and and it is the folks like you that have uh, produced what you've produced for us with the consistency that you've produced it. Um, this this is what it is, and 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 you kind of summed it up really well there. And I find that now at this very moment, uh, as I'm heading to sign off this interview, um, I, I'm eager to get back and hear what you said again. So there you go. Thank you so much, Nick Carter, for joining us today on Poplar Review. Uh, I thank you so much for your contribution. And uh, one more time, tell us about that website that where people can go and check out your work. Um, yeah, well, first off, thank you for for having me both here today and just as a contributor. Um, you know, I'm I've really been enjoying the 
nearly year that I've been uh, supplying you guys with content. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely in it for the long haul. So uh, thank you. We've got a good thing going. I um, think so, too. Yes. So the website is and I'll have um, it here, but naturenickphotography.com. Wonderful. Thank you again so much for being on Pop Reviews. And uh, real soon, we'll have you back on. Okay, my friend? Sounds good. Can't okay, wait. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. See ya.